I want to have a look at this because this is devastating to Jordan Peterson. I never knew this, right? This is all new information to me. Uh, we're going to watch two minutes of this guy, whoever he is, some more news, talking about Jordan Peterson, who is claiming an authority. A lot of anti-vaxxers and a lot of, um, you know, conspiracy theorists talk about an appeal to authority. They say, oh, that's an appeal to authority. You can't do an appeal to authority, meaning you can say such and such said, painting yourself as an expert, but but they always say you shouldn't do you shouldn't do that. You should just use the facts and the figures and not appeal to authority. Jordan Peterson, when he talks especially about climate in this example, just I, I'll just play it. It's only two minutes of it, and this is a uh, nearly three hour video. <laughs> uh, it's a very short video though. A, a very short video. Timestamp. Talking about who he is and what qualifications he's got. And that's all I want to play for you. Because after you see this, it kind of, and I've never been someone to just eliminate Jordan Peterson from the conversation based on what other people have said. But this kind of eliminates him from the conversation, I, in my opinion. Have a listen. I know I said I was a huge Jordan Peterson fan, but maybe I'm thinking of a different guy. I said I had other clips. Can I see one? Let me tell you, as a neuroscientist, Neuroscientist. Okay, so wait, he's a neuroscientist? I mean, that explains the tuxedo, but that has nothing to do with climate science. Explain yourself or interrupt me with another clip. I'm an evolutionary biologist, by the way, not a political philosopher. All right, hold up. So he's an evolutionary biologist and a neuroscientist, neither of which have anything to do with climate science. Still, that is a lot of degrees, so he must be smart, right? I wonder where he went to school. Wish I could look that up. Oh, you know what? I just remembered that thanks to the miracle of tiny rectangles, I can fake typing, <laughs> fake typing, and oh, okay. So it looks like he completed his undergraduate degree at Grand Prairie College and the University of Alberta and got a PhD in psychology. And that's it. No mention of neuroscience <laughs> or evolutionary biology. The two things he's said on camera that he's a doctor of. Peterson went on to be a professor of psychology at Harvard in the 90s. Oh, maybe he met that Will Hunting fellow. That'd be cool. <laughs> and then a professor at the University of Toronto, where he also teaches psychology. And that's still it. Okay, well, charitably, I think maybe he wasn't necessarily being a weird liar, but was instead saying that he is arguing from the point of view of neuroscience right. and evolutionary biology. That's a generous interpretation. Also, Will Hunting went to MIT and not Harvard, so they probably didn't meet at all. Also, that was a fictional film. Still, considering there's a D and an octor before his name, it seems easy to assume he's like an expert in those things. Like, if you were a professor, a doctor of psychology, and let's say one of your rules to follow for life is to be precise in your speech, a serious scientist wouldn't flippantly say, let me tell you as a neuroscientist, or I'm an evolutionary biologist. Because you're not. You're a psychologist. You'd say it differently. Not to mention how confidently he speaks, specifically about climate science, which I'm sure you've realized he appears to have absolutely zero academic experience with. I mean, I don't either. I majored in juggling at Piss University. Go fighting kidney stones. So who am I? Devastating. Like, that's devastating. Jordan Peterson is claiming qualifications and doctorates that he doesn't have. Devastating to his credibility, Joey. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, I encourage people to look out that video. You can probably watch it in a quick week or two. Um, but it is just savage. It's so, so funny. Um, and I think it, it crystallized a few of my sort of thoughts about um, Peterson when I first saw it when it came out. And, and it's just, he he's... What, what's the term? He's he's a dumb person, smart person. The smartest dumb person you know, or the dumbest smart person you know, something like that. <laughs> I, I, either or, but I mean, he's got he's got the persona. He's he's got some academic background to him. Absolutely, he he, he has even made some good points in the past. Um, you know, I don't want to take everything away from him, but when he wades into things that he just has no background in. Yeah, he just shows his whole ass every time. Yeah, people are asking for the link. I've just put the link in all of the channels that we're currently live streaming in, so mm -hmm. uh, you can have a look at it for yourself. Uh, and th th this is the thing, yeah. And this is the thing that I often find with people: if you have, 
to lie, right? If you have to lie, like if you've got a good argument, he's a psychologist. He's obviously fucking smart. Like, like let's just not take his IQ or his or his academic smarts away from him. He's, he's obviously smart. But then if you have to lie to try and say that you're an expert in everything, then you lose all credibility for the stuff you are an expert in. You know what I mean? It's like mm. it's like ma making up bullshit to make to win your point is actually means you have no credibility to make any point. Mm.